Hey guys, for today's video, I have a one brand mega tutorial using only Wet n Wild products. I have used Wet n Wild products before, but I'm so excited to try out more products from them. So, let's get started. I'm going to start with the eyes today. I usually apply foundation first before I start doing my eyes. But today is going to be a little different. So to part my eyelids, I am going to use this Wet n Wild Cover Stick. The shade is medium. So this is Wet n Wild Cover Stick. So I'm just going to like apply it on my eyelids as an eyelid primer and then I'm going to blend it out with my damp beauty blender so I'm gonna apply this like a little bit So taking my beauty blend, I'm just gonna like blend it out. So far, like I am really loving this concealer for the eyelids. It is really great to use this as the base for my eyelids. It has a nice smooth touch and I just really like it it is nice and smooth oh my gosh really nice and smooth I purchased this trio from wet and wild this is great I just love these colors the white the brown the pink and I definitely love this pink shade right here these are the colors that I'm going to be using today these are nice colors so I'm going to start with the white shade, then I'm going to go with the brown, then the pink. So for the white shade, I'm going to apply it under my brow bone. And then this one will be for the crease, and this one is for the eyelid. So I'm really excited to see how this will turn out, how this will look on me. So let's see. So I am going to use this white one I'm gonna like use this blending brush and I'm just gonna like under my brow bones oh god I think I took two more so these are like very pigmented I really didn't know it look how much it came out so much Oh my god so but it's okay I'll blend it out okay so for the crease I'm going to use this brown shade right here so I take this just take a little bit because these eyeshadow is very pigmented like I just really love it so far like I am really loving this trio from wet and wild so I'm gonna like put it on the crease doesn't apply good on my eyes I just don't really know why but the colors come out pigmented but for some reason the brown one is not showing up on my eyes so I think I don't like this product now
Okay, so I'm using my Wet in Wild eyeshadow brush. So I'm gonna like use the pink shade now. Now I'm gonna see if this is really good. This is like my first time using this trio palette from Wet n Wild. So far in the beginning, I like because the color comes out like very pigmented. But I noticed like when I apply the brown shade, it doesn't even come out a lot. The brown doesn't come out. I don't even see brown on my crease at all. So okay so i'm gonna like use the pink now So I'm all done now. So this is how it looks like. Let me see. See, see a close up. For eyeliner, I purchased this eye pencil from Wet in Wild. It's Wet in Wild Cover Con. The shade is gray. This is a gray shade, and I just love it this color is the best so i just love this one so much that this is actually my second one Like so far, like I just love this eye pencil because it comes out very pigmented. I love that the color comes out very smooth when I apply it on my eyelids. And like I said, it's very pigmented. I just love this shade of grape because it's not like this is not like a light shade gray this is a dark gray which is great i just love it so much Okay, so this is how it looks like. Like I apply the gray. It's very pretty. For mascara, I have 
wet and wild mega ones i have tried this before and i just love it love it love it so much so i find it great to like to use this product in this video because this is my favorite wet and wild product so i just love it a lot Today I am not going to use falsies today because at my local Rite Aid and Walgreens store they basically were sold out. I couldn't believe it because I really wanted to do this video. I just wanted to do this video but then when I went to the drugstore Rite Aid Walgreens they didn't have any they were sold out at my local Rite Aid and Walgreens where I live. Like I have a Target too, but it's like it's it's not. I don't have one like where I live. I actually have to like take a bus or drive there to go to Target. So like I'm really sorry that I'm not gonna use for today's. But I will promise you on my next video, I will use falsies. This is the Wet n Wild Cover Girl Cream Foundation. This is new. You can see it says new on it. This is Wet n Wild Cover Girl Foundation. So, oh my god. This has a lot in this, so this is how the color looks like. So I'm going to use my Wet n Wild foundation brush. You can like, just like paint it all over my face. Oh yeah, the shade of this color is Fair Light. So this shade is Fair Light. Like, I really don't like the smell of this foundation. This foundation stinks. Oh my god. It smells like rubber. So, I don't like this foundation at all. Like, it's, it's looks, the color looks great on me. But I just don't like the smell. It has like a rubber smell to it. And I just don't like it at all. So... So I'm going to use my damp beauty brother to blend this all out.
but I like I like the way it feels on my face and I just like the way it it has like a dewy finish this is a dewy finish wet and wild cover girl foundation is very dewy I just like this glow right here that I'm having it is like very great like it feels great on my face I just love the way it looks when I blend it out I really just love the way it looks like that when I look at this glow do you see this do you see this look at this glow oh my god this is such a pretty glow oh my god i just love this foundation the only thing that i don't like about this is that it has a rubber smell and just can't take the smell but overall this foundation works well from the skin i just love this shade i wasn't sure if I got the right shade because I didn't want like foundation to be like too dark too light just want it just right for my skin I'm going to use the same concealer that I used for my eyelids to use it for my dark circles under my eyes so this is wet and wild cover all the shade is medium so I'm gonna apply this under my eye oh my god wow so far like i don't really like this concealer stick because it's not like very pigmented this is not a very pigmented concealer like it takes a while for the color to come out to go to my eyelids and i don't want to press hard on my Skin. so this is all I'm gonna use like I'm not gonna struggle with this no more so I definitely hate this product really do it doesn't come out a lot it's not very pigmented and I wish this was very pigmented because the packaging is gorgeous I just love this packaging but the formula I just don't like it at, at all so I'm using my same beauty blender. So like it's working well. It's actually covering my dark circles. Just love it. So like I have like mixed opinions. I have this highlighter that I just really love. I use this so many times and I just love this product so much. Like I really, really do. I just love this product so much. So this is the Wet in Wild um, Mega Glow Multi Stick. So this is the Wet in Wild mega glow multi stick this is how the color looks like and i just love this print so much i just love this print this packaging is so pretty i just love it so i'm gonna apply this highlighter on my cheeks over here On my forehead so I'm gonna use my my same beauty blender I'm just gonna like blend it out just blend it out blend it out Wow this the foundation that I use is really make my skin nice and glowy it has like a glowy look to it so i'm just like really loving this foundation just i love it so much it really covers everything 
up. I just love it. I'm gonna use the same wet and wild coverall, the gray shade for my waterline. And then I'm gonna use this trio palette, but I'm gonna use the brown shade for my waterline. So now I'm just going to use the brown shade for my waterline. Using my smudge brush. and I'm just gonna run this off my smudge brush and I'm just gonna like tap this tap this now and this is gonna be for my tear dog Next, I'm going to use this Soak Finish Lipstick by Wet n Wild. This has a nice packaging and I just love. So the shade of this is Breeze, Breeze Breeze. Yeah, Breeze Breeze. 531C Breeze Breeze. So this is how the color looks like it's like um like a neutral tones which i just love wearing neutral tones so this i'm going to use and i just love packaging like so far like i just love this so much it really is a nice color and it is very smooth so this is it's really tell the truth so this brand is called silk finish lipstick by wet and well it's actually true it really is silky like it's like a butter lipstick it is nice. I just love it. Just love it. And I'm 
like the neutral tones it is very pretty see very pretty overall i like this wet and wow cover on foundation it is very smooth but i just don't like the rubber smell to it it has like a rubber smell in it but overall i like this foundation it literally made my face nice and glowy it has a great dewy finish to it which i love so the next product that i just really love is wet and wow mega Land. This is my all time makeup one and I just love it so much. This is actually my second one. I just love it so much. This makeup lens, it is so nice. I just love the way that it like gave a great volume to my eyelashes. So I just really love it so much. So the products that I really, really, really hate is this wet and wild cover all concealer i just like didn't really like it so much like it did cover my dark circles and cover like all the bad things under my eyes but um this is not like very pigmented i just wish that this concealer was pigmented that the color will come out very strong and it, it didn't really come out at all like i was literally pressing under my eye so i didn't want to press so hard because as you know that this is a very delicate area so i just didn't really like this product at all the formula wasn't good and i feel that this product should be very pigmented because when you're applying concealer you need to make sure that your whole eye is covered with concealer make sure like all dark circles is covered so i really didn't like this concealer at all the next product that i really hate is this wet and well trio palette sweet as candy i don't really like this um wet and well palettes because these palettes they were pigmented yes it was pigmented but when you try to apply it on your eyelids the color doesn't come out as much like i had um, used the brown one and the brown it didn't even show on my eyes like i didn't even see this dark color on my eyes so this formula is not great at all i just don't really like it at all i just don't really like it at all it's not very pigmented so the colors are great but i just don't like it so the product that i love the most is this wet and wild silk finish lipstick i just love this lipstick so much it is very buttery on my lips and i just love it it's nice i just love this wet and wild i just love it so much that the packaging is great where this is a new packaging of the wet and wild lipstick i love it so much it's like buttery it's very buttery and i just like it so much so this is available on all shades at your local drugstore it's available at all shades but i just go i just love neutral tone colors so that's why i went to it so i just love this product the next product that I just really love is this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Stick. I just love this highlighting stick because it's great like when you're on the go. When you're on the go, like when you're traveling, you don't want to carry a compact highlighter with you. So carry this stick. It is very lightweight and just love this for traveling. And I like this everywhere and just love their Mega Glow, so I just love applying. I just like this 
thick. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you like this video. All the products will be in the description below. The prices, the links, and everything. So, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I'll see you in my next video.